Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and today we're going to take a look at Milwaukee's new M18 Fuel 16 inch chainsaw. This came in a kit model number 2727-21HD and that 21 means that it comes with one heavy duty 12 amp hour battery. Now this is still a 3P battery so there's 15 cells in here, there's three sets of 18 volt cells and this thing is large. It's not overly heavy, not as heavy as you'd expect, um, but it is bigger than their 9.0 amp hour battery pack and it worked amazing in this saw. So this saw will actually take any of the batteries that Milwaukee has in our M18 line and of course you're going to lose power as you roll downhill. We did not test it with any of the 5.0 amp hour batteries or even the 9.0 amp hour batteries because we looked at this as a homeowner situation. At our house we had four trees to cut down. We had to walk out in the back. We're redoing a lot of landscaping. We looked at this as, hey, we have one battery, one saw. That's how we bought it. So that's how we're going to test it. Very simple setup. We pull this out of the box. You have to make sure that you have some good bar and chain lube. It should come with some, but this thing is actually an excellent oiler for the chain. So make sure you have more than just what comes with the saw. In the time of draining two battery packs, we were able to completely drain the oil from the saw, and that is great. That means that our chain is getting a lot of lubricant, and compared to some other saws out there on the market, that is almost unheard of these days. Milwaukee is not first to market with a battery operated chainsaw, but in them taking their time to come out with one, they definitely came out with something that is amazing. A lot of people complained about plastic bucking spikes up here, and with this Milwaukee, you have metal. There is a chain break on this that works great. Now you say chain break, you know, most large saws have it. Yes, and I agree, an electric saw should have it. Whenever you're moving around, if your feet aren't planted, it's important that you put this chain break on. It's a safety thing. No matter if this is gas or electric, it is a chainsaw and it will hurt if it cuts you. I promise. On the other side, you do not have a tool free chain and bar adjustment. Is that good or bad? That's going to depend on the person. You do have a onboard tool that is in the bottom. It's in there securely, but yet easy to get out. And if you want to adjust this, it's just like any other gas chainsaw on the market. Now, what you've probably seen lately is a lot of people comparing this chainsaw to other gas models because on the box it says cuts faster than gas. Now, I have a steel 361 and I guarantee you it will not cut faster than that saw. But what this is telling us is that they're saying, hey, you know, compared to an entry level gas saw, this is going to work well. In our situation as a homeowner, cutting four trees down, it simply was excellent. We could walk outside in the morning. That's something I can't do with my gas saw, is start at 7.30 a.m. and start cutting down trees without bothering my neighbors. And that's something that is excellent. Now the variable speed trigger on this saw is great because there's not a lot of slack in the trigger. It's a very positive, very short trigger. So to get the variable speed on it, you have to feather your finger very slightly. But with that said, you can bring this chainsaw down to barely moving, very similar to what you could do on a drill. And you have your variable speed all the way up to 6,600 RPMs. The 16 inch bar is great for getting into tough areas and or cutting full depth with it. It has the power and you can bog it down if you want to, just like a gas chainsaw. But with that said, the cut is actually very good and the cut quality here is great as far as pushing it through a tree when you're felling it. I think that's one of the biggest issues that I have with a battery operated chainsaw is that some can be underpowered while cutting down trees. Now I'll tell you in the real world here, I did not have the best of luck with wind and some of the ways that I tried to cut down a tree to make it fall so that it wasn't in the pool or up against another tree. I had very limited room and I did have some bad luck with one tree that fell backwards and fell on the camera and in our hot tub. 
stuff happens, man, and it's not always perfect, but I can tell you I have a lot of time behind chainsaws. I may not cut exactly how uh, professionals will, but I've cut down probably well over a thousand trees in my lifetime, and this saw did well, and it's one of the very few saws that I can say I am comfortable with while I am felling a tree because it does have the power to get in there and run, and it does not seem to cut out on us. Now, we did have some great trees that fell. We had some good experiences with this. We are cutting down Australian pines, which in my opinion suck because they're full of tar and sap. That sap is sticky, it gets all over everything. And I can tell you that cleanup on this saw was excellent and easy. I just took WD-40, wiped it down. The satin finish on this is excellent, easy to clean up. And when you get inside, uh, especially when you're cutting down pine trees, you should remove this cover and clean inside the gearbox area where it connects to the chain and make sure that everything is out. It's simple to do even though you have tools. It's something that we do with all of our gas chainsaws. It actually can help if you can get some compressed air in there and help blow this out. While you're in there, make sure that the oiler is clean and you do not have anything, any sawdust inside there that is stopping this oiler from working. Performance wise and battery runtime wise, we were able to cut down three trees before the battery died. So we had to go back in, throw the battery on the charger before we could limb the third tree. And then basically I just used that time to haul all the trees and the limbs out of the way. And then I came back out with the battery half charged after about 35 minutes and finished up the rest of the tree. One of the nice things about this 12 amp hour battery is that it is great even at half charge. And you have plenty of runtime to limb up a tree and cut things down. Hey, this, these trees are a bit smaller than what you've cut down in some of your other videos. But as pine trees, they have a lot more limbs coming out of them. They have a lot of different areas that you have to cut, and we cut multiple things with this. So I'm gonna come out and tell you that this M18 12 amp hour battery has a longer runtime than even the 40 volt DeWalt or any of the other flex volt tools that we've used. So if you're looking for a very long runtime out of a chainsaw, this has probably the best runtime that we've seen. Now, as we should, as you come out with new tools all the time, you should hear us saying this all the time and you don't, every once in a while, we'll get a tool and we're like, yep, this is you know, the most powerful tool that we've ever used. But it's not always the case. As it should be, this is something new. This is the most powerful chainsaw that I can say that we've used. It, it by far has more power than most of the other battery operated ones out there that Again, there might be some that we haven't used, but I think that anyone who buys this who wants to use it for home use and or there might be some professionals out there that want to carry a battery operated chainsaw up in the tree, I'm not going to speak for them, but I think that you know, using it in that situation is going to be completely thrilled. The downside obviously of batteries is that you have to take it in and charge it. You can't just refill it with fuel and keep going. But if you have multiple different batteries and are willing to pull out maybe some of your other Milwaukee M18 batteries and throw it in here and or some of your other batteries from the tools that you might have, you might end up with multiples of these and you can just keep cutting and cutting and cutting. From a homeowner standpoint, if I can cut down four trees, limb them and move them out of the way on a charge and a half of battery, I think that most people would be able to be thrilled with this unit and get by with it because even in storm damage, when you're cutting and cleaning, you're going to take a little bit of time to do some cleaning and removing that area so you're not stumbling over everything. This saw is amazing. Anyone that's going to come out and say that you can't have a great chainsaw running off of 18 volts, you're wrong. Flat out. Go try it. It's got a three-year warranty. I'm sure if you don't like it, you can return it. This tool is excellent, and I will say personally, if you don't like it, comment down below. Tell us why. I don't see it. I really think you're going to like this tool. So make sure you give us some comments down below about what you think about an M18 platform. I really like that all the Milwaukee tools are going to stay on this M18 platform, and this one battery that comes with this chainsaw can be used on any other tool that I might have that is Milwaukee. It's perfect. It's the way it should be. 
So thank you guys for your time. Make sure you give us a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you give us those comments below, because let me tell you, this is one of the coolest chainsaws that we've seen yet. Have a great day.